In this video, I'm going to be creating a YouTube thumbnail using AI, specifically our AI Genius Club. So what I've done, if you haven't watched our previous video, was I trained an AI on my face to generate images that look just like me. So we have this image here and this image here and this image here where I'm a firefighter and this image here where I'm in a Halloween costume. And what I want to do now is I'm going to change the prompts on this so I can generate a YouTube thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the model that it was trained on, which is the Alex hit model. And like I said, that was discussed in the previous video on how to upload your images to how to train the model. So it creates these AI images that look just like you. I'm now going to create a YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to type in here what I want. So create me a YouTube thumbnail image of Alex hit in this thumbnail. I want you to create Alex in a AI art studio utilizing AI tools to create AI images. And then I just expanded on this prompt a little bit more and I said design a visually striking YouTube thumbnail that captures attention instantly. The thumbnail should feature bold contrasting colors, neon blue, electric blue with clean professional layout, highlight the center object an AI powered tool and a futuristic concept using dynamic lighting such as glowing edges and holographic overlays. I'm also gonna make sure that I tag myself, make sure Alex, which is my trained AI model, is on the right hand side of the image and leave enough space to add text afterwards on the left hand side. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and create this. And we want this in the 16 by nine format because that's gonna generate the dimensions I need for my YouTube thumbnails. So we're gonna go ahead and say, create another custom trained AI image and see what it gives us. So there's some load time here and it will create in that amount of time or less, it usually does a lot less than that amount of time. Depends on how complex the prompt is and what you're trying to get. And that's actually pretty perfect. I really like that. So I can go ahead here and I can upscale the image. So I always like to upscale it just to make it a little bit more crisp. So I'm going to upscale the image. Great. Now it successfully upscaled the image, meaning it made it a little bit higher definition. Now you see that my hands are a little bit distorted here because when you use AI, sometimes it has a hard time making hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reprompt the image. I'm going to say, make sure there are no hands featured in the image and I'm gonna regenerate it. And the model is gonna be that, so I just make sure I do that. Now, if I ever lose the prompt that I was using, what I can do is I can come down here to any one of these, and I can hover over this button and get the prompt back. And then I can simply copy this prompt right there, click the copy button, I can come back here and repaste the prompt and just make sure that when I ever I see my name that I'm going in and I'm making sure to actually tag myself, and that just tells the AI model to actually tag me in the prompt. So you see, that's what I'm doing there. I have this, and then I just wanna make sure, I say, make sure I'll, make sure there are no human hands present in the YouTube thumbnail image. And go ahead and create another one, wait the load time. And that looks really good, but I don't like that there's this other person behind me. So I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna add another prompt. So I just did a comment and say, make sure at Alex is the only one present in the thumbnail image and generate one more time. Okay. That's actually pretty perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this image and I'm going to download it in a PNG file format. I'm then going to go over to Canva and I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to add some text into this. So I have the original image that I created in the AI genius club tool, which is essentially a suite of different AI products. One of them is what I'm using now, which is the genius image model, which I trained on my face that I can then use to create AI thumbnails. So I'm going to go to this document where I have a bunch of different thumbnails that I've created, and I'm going to start creating a new thumbnail with that base image. So just start over here, new, delete all this. And I'm going to grab that image that I just downloaded and I'm going to upload that into Canva. And that looks pretty good there. And what I can do, because it's not exactly filled how I want it, is I'm gonna have this there, but I'm gonna use one of the AI image tools in Canva, which is Magic Expand. 
So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do magic expand. And what this is going to do is it's just going to extend this image out a little bit more. So it fills this gap space here. So I expand the image and you just give it a minute to load. And it's going to basically fill in this entire area that I expanded it to, which it did right there, which is perfect. Now what I want to do is I want to add in text. So I have a bunch of these other texts save here, but this is a really good bold text. So I'm going to type this in AI YouTube. So I need to decrease the size of this. So I'm just clicking here to decrease the size of this font. It's a little bit too big. AI YouTube thumbnails. Also it's just thumbnail and I'll decrease the spacing a little bit. Maybe I want to move that over a little bit more and I need to use the magic expand tool again just to expand it out just a little bit more. So I'll just grab that on the corner and expand it over to the farthest right. Expand one more time. Perfect. So that expanded the image out there. And over here on the left hand side, you have a number of different versions it gives you. This is doesn't make much of a change because I'm not expanding it too much. So any of these will work. Once I'm happy with it, I can just click done down here and that will save it. And now that image is framed just how I like it. I'm going to change the font here to something that doesn't take up as much space. Maybe like that or that one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's really good. AI thumbnail. And what I like to do is put part of it in and kind of just distinguish the top from the bottom by putting a block behind some of the letters. So we'll put a black block behind. I'll actually do white here. And then what I do is I'll make part of the text black. I'm going to take the outline away and then make the bottom of this that blue. So then that really stands out. And then I can make this top part, this YouTube part, make that color, that light blue, that behind the text, make that black. Just kind of play around with the colors here. Actually make the white with this YouTube red that text YouTube red, make this black, and I'll make this AI part here, that electric blue, maybe turn that dark blue, and then that white. And we'll go ahead and fast forward the video on just the last few changes I do before finishing this up, adding a logo, adding a few more touches and shadows, but I'm almost done here, so I'm just gonna fast forward to the end of the editing process. All right, there we go. We have our final image here. The image that we created with AI, all we had to do was add in the text, add an arrow, point to the subject that we're talking about, which most of this was created in the AI Genius Club, this header image, not a photo of me, actually trained on an AI model on my face and then auto-generated. You saw me do that here in our AI Genius tool. And I just used Canva just to kind of move things around, add the text, add the arrow, add the logo. And I'm ready now to upload this to YouTube. So I'll just come up here and i will download this make sure it is a png make sure to compress the file so youtube does accept it you can upload really large files so i always compress the file and then make sure i'm downloading page two and click download and there we go now that is going to download and i can go to youtube with this image and uh, use it however i'd like so if you're interested in making YouTube AI thumbnails, the AI Genius Club is incredible. And the really amazing part is if you refer just three people into the AI Genius Club, well, then you get access into the AI Genius Club totally for free. We also do three trainings per week on the AI Genius Club if you are a member of it. If you'd like to come to one of our trainings for free, we actually have multiple trainings throughout the week, which are free. You don't even need to be a customer of it to get access to those trainings. We do have one exclusive training for members of the AI Genius Club. And remember, if you refer three people into the AI Genius Club, you actually get access to these tools for free. Some of them, like our video tool, does have a cost training the AI model did cost me a one-time fee of $6, but many of these tools, you get unlimited access to them totally for free in the AI Genius Club. And we have just so much support and so many more exclusive videos for members of our AI Genius Club. Refer three people and you get it for free. So I'll put the link below if you're interested in getting started or if you want more training videos, we'll put more training videos below. 
but I just love this AI genius tool for creating YouTube thumbnails. It makes it so much easier. I don't have to go out there and take a hundred different headshots of myself. I simply train the AI model on my face and then it will create videos that look just like me that I can then use all around in my marketing, on my YouTube thumbnails. I can create fun images of myself. I can create just really whatever images that I wanna create, I can create here in the AI Genius Club. So thank you again for watching this tutorial. If you're interested in more tutorials on the AI Genius Club, on The Great Discovery, which the AI Genius Club is a part of, a platform called The Great Discovery. We will put more information on that below too, but thanks so much for watching and subscribe for more training and tutorials. Bye.